Welcome friends. We saw in our previous videos how uh, we can uh, check out the code or clone the code. In this video we will learn about how to commit a code or how to check in a code. We use these terms interchangeably many times. Commit and check in in uh, git word is the same term. And we will also learn how to push the code. So let's get it to one by one. In our previous videos, we saw that there was a repository on GitHub called Git Concepts. We cloned it uh, using a tool called uh, Git Extensions. And now we have the contents in our local directory in uh, specifically in a directory called Git Concepts. So here are the contents java file and readme.md file now let's quickly revise what we saw in uh, previous videos about version control we saw that on one drive we can see the versions of a file here in also on the dropbox we saw that if we put the document again and again uh, it automatically creates the versions of the document there is another service called google docs that is also a cloud-based service in here we will understand the concept of commit so i am using this plus button to create a new google docs document i will name it as git concepts and here you see it's saving all changes saved in one drive so let's call it header you see it is saving again and if you click on this link Google Docs is automatically creating the versions of the document as we are proceeding with the edits in the document yeah. let's try to edit one more time let's add body into it we can see it's saving again and let's add footer into it and it's saved again we see uh, here the versions are maintained and if we try to look at this version the document was blank and if we try to look at this version these three things are added here there is a facility that we can also put our customized message added header body and footer let's go back and try to add I will reload this document one more time and try to add some more content to it and it is saving again let's look at the revision it it has created one more revision this time this was the last one that we edited here and we can name it added more content so if you look at the revision history quickly we can see that the document was blank here we can name it blank document and here we see uh, uh, the message and know what changes could have been done here added header body and footer yeah so header body and footer was added into document and here we added more content so more content was added like this so these are known as commits uh, we are doing it in a single document just to understand the concept of committing but we in the git world change a set of files or commit a set of changes in a single file 
and do a commit like this in git. So if we open the git repository and click on the commits, we can see what are the commits we have made during the time period, like we have done the commits in this document. And Git has a more advanced features because uh, we can click on a single commit and look into it that what specifically was changed into the file. So here with the green color with a plus sign here, it is showing us that this line was added in the code. So this is uh, the, the concept of uh, committing and how the commit history we call it commit history similarly as this that at the time period timeline we are changing the document either adding something or deleting something and maintaining a history to know that on which version what change was there that we have made in the next video uh, we will see how we can use git extensions to maintain this commit history in our git repository if you like and understand this concept please like this video and subscribe see you in the next video